Hey there, it's Tricia with Easy e Mini Trade, and I just want to do a quick video on Market Profile um, to kind of follow up from the webinar last week that I did. So I'm going to go over a little bit from Friday and Monday. And if you missed the Market Profile webinar, the recording's available um, now. If you go to my site, you can click on the webinar recording tab at the top, and all the information is there. Okay, so let's get started. So what you're looking at here is NQ on an 8 range. This is Friday. Um, it doesn't matter what size chart you put your market profile on. It will have the same levels regardless. Um, I'm doing this on an 8 range so you can see um, the divergence area is a little easier. But you can put it on a 1 minute, a 5 minute, a 15. It does not matter. So as discussed in the webinar, this blue area you see here is fair value. Um, then I've got fair value area high up here and then fair value area low down here. Um, this blue area you see down here is just an area that I outline um, around the round number just so it doesn't get by me. Um, I use caution when I trade around the round numbers on NQ. And then this blue line that you see in the center here, that's the VWAP, and that's the volume weighted average price. Um, and I went over all this in detail in the webinar, so again, if you're interested, just go to my site. Okay, so here's where the market opens, right here on Friday. And generally what you're going to find, if we don't have a strong direction, price is going to go from fair value area high to the VWAP area, fair value high, view high to the VWAP area, or VWAP to fair value area low, VWAP fair value area low. And then you can get um, what's called the coast to coast from fair value area low to fair value area high. Um, so just looking at Friday here, as we come to fair value area high. Now, if we don't have a direction, you can short off fair value area high, buy off fair value area low, and then generally look for a reaction you know, at the last area of support or resistance. So in this case here, up to fair value area high, divergence to the downside, so that's giving us a heads up for a pullback off of that area. So if it's not too early off the open and you feel confident in taking that, you could short that anticipating price finding its way to the area of support. Area of support, look to the left, you could see the last area holding, so that would be where you'd expect price to react. Back up to fair value area high here. Um, I don't have any divergence there. I generally am waiting for divergence to see this, but if you want to be aggressive, you can um, certainly short off that area. So I'm looking for divergence or like the 40-point gap between my um, two stochastics, and I'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. Um, here up at fair value area high. I don't have any divergence. You can see I got this 40 point gap here. So if I wanted to short that area, um, I could short it and then I would just again look to the left and see where price reacted. Um, I think this is right before news. So not likely I would be anticipating an area of support or resistance to hold um, right into the reports coming out. Um, at 9.45 and 10 o'clock, but of course you do whatever your plan allows you to do. Um, market pops up higher, again, I, like I said, I think this was around news, get to brand new highs, and this as a matter of fact is um, brand new all-time highs if I'm not mistaken, and you get divergence. I'm not saying short the high of the day, but that's a heads up that price is going to likely pull back off um, this high here. And when it pulls back, you would expect price to um, either hold the edge of this um, band away from fair value up here. Right here you can see the deviation, first deviation away from fair value here, second here to create this band. And then if it pulls back off of that, then you're looking down um, for reaction to support. And if it breaks support, this is the previous day's high right here in green, then you'd be looking for it to trade back down to fair value area high. So at this point, it's kind of created a direction. We don't really know if this is going to bounce off this area or is it going to hold and try to roll over and get back um, to the areas of support created back here. So if you, um, again, I think this is still around news, but if it wasn't a report coming out, and you had divergence to the upside off of this area here, then you could anticipate buying a bounce here. And I think we do, because I think this was actually equal lows right here. And if you go here, we have lower lows. So that would give you a heads up that it's likely going to bounce. But again, I can't reiterate this enough. It's, if it's into a report coming out, um, all bets are off. The market will move um, in whatever 
direction it wants um, regardless of what we see here which it will do anyway but we can't count on um, high probability um, types of areas to hold into um, reports coming out okay um, so anyway you could see it bounce here and this is still news because you could see this all these bars that are forming at 10 o'clock so let's just skip ahead here past that all right so market takes off higher new highs divergence again here higher highs on um, price lower highs on the stochastic so that's a heads up for a pullback not saying short it but if you were long and you saw that then you might want to tighten your stop so you're looking for a reaction here at this um, deviation away from fair value so what you could do is if it pulls back and you're looking for a way to get in the um, moving market you could buy a bounce off this area right here and you can see you've got your um, 40 point gap here so that's giving you a heads up that it's either going to bounce or go sideways so if you were to buy a bounce off this area you would look up to the high as your um, next reaction area if it could get there you can see it fails to get there so that's you know basically telling you that um, it's probably going to pull back again because you can see it didn't take out that high there and so once again you're looking for a reaction here or the last area of support which would have been created right here and then if it keeps pulling back larger once it breaks support then you're looking back to fair value area high so at this point we've um, created a direction right so you can look for a reason to try to buy a bounce off fair value area high if it holds and if it doesn't hold and rolls over bigger then you can wait for it to change its bias and then start to short off that area again hope that is making sense and then you just go throughout the day like that you could see here holds fair value area high doesn't continue with the upward direction not saying short it here yet but that's you know basically giving us a heads up that it's holding these areas again <clears throat> comes back up here to a resistance area again look to your left you can see where resistance was you get divergence higher highs on price lower highs on the stochastic so this is telling you it's probably going to pull back off of that area and so we still have to assume fair value area high is going to act as um, support and then you look over here to the left and you can see the area that was um, holding under that if you were so inclined to want to try to short that you'd still like I said want to be aware that fair value area high could act as support and then here back up to fair value area high you can see we're kind of going sideways again right and then you get your 40 point um, gap here we don't have divergence but with that gap there it's telling us that price is either going to go sideways or pull back so if you wanted to short off fair value area high once again you look to the left and you see the areas where price has been holding and you could use that as your target area if it gets through then you're looking down to the next area support which would be the previous day's high and then if it gets through there then you're looking to the VWAP and this isn't typical it typically doesn't um, bust through without any hesitation um, and continue moving so I don't know if there was another report coming out you can see where it reacts down here at fair value area low and so if you were so inclined I don't have divergence there so no reason to really try to buy it um, I wouldn't generally buy a uh, like a one touch like it touches one, once and it bounces um, because a lot of times it, it will you know bounce a little bit and then continue in the same direction here again another touch um, I don't have divergence per se but if you um, want to be aggressive you could buy that bounce and you would anticipate the area where it last reacted so you just go through your day like that over and over again anticipating it finding its way back up to the VWAP here and you do have divergence off of that area so if you wanted to short you could short off that and then you would look back to the area of support where it last reacted which would be down here around that 22 and so on and so on and then if you go to yesterday so let's go to yesterday being Monday is this Monday yep so where does it open here we go here's the open again nothing to do really off the open but same situation um, if there's no direction 
per se, you're looking for a price to react at fair value area high, VWAP, and fair value area low. And you can see yesterday, um, here's really what I wanted to show you yesterday, is that we spent majority of our time in the fair value area around that VWAP. So not a whole lot of movement in um, a strong direction yesterday morning. And then also, if you see that the VWAP is just flat, you can see this line that's going from blue to maroon, blue to maroon. If the price is above it, it's coloring blue. If it's below, it's maroon. Um, so that's basically telling you there's, um, you know, it's a sideways market. And, you know, basically when you see that, just be aware of all your support resistance areas. Um, you can see it's not um, tagging fair value area high up here or even fair value area low down here. It's just staying right smack dab in the middle of um, the fair value area, trading all around that VWAP. So anything that happens around the VWAP area, you're definitely going to want to um, be very aware of taking trades in that area and where price is likely to react. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that you find that helpful. And if you have any questions, you're always welcome to shoot me an email. Um, this is about the only time since earlier, since way back here at 948, it actually got back up to fair value area high here. And you do get a little divergence. If I go from here. And I'm using the green line. So if you felt confident enough, you could short that, anticipating it reacting at the last little consolidation area, which would likely be right here. Up here, no divergence. You don't have to wait for divergence, but, um, you know, that's just a, a way to basically know that you have the good chance that it's going to um, go in the opposite direction than it currently is, at least for a bar or two. All right, you guys, have a great day. If you have any questions, like I said, shoot me an email, and I will chat with you all later.